All right, so what is it? Is, is it in the fourth quarter right now? Is it is it in the third quarter still? Let me actually pull it up because it's in the fourth quarter. Because was in the first time me and KB just ended the stream, bro. 38 to 3. It's still the same score. Just could not take it anymore, man. You like you go online, you see fans leaving the stadium as well. The little fans that are there just completely booing the team and the products on the field. Reminds me so much once again of 2017. Um, I've been saying it a lot, but this game as well because we played the Rams in 2017. It was like what they put up 40 or 50 points on us or something in 2017, and it was a very similar situation where it's like injuries. You know, just bad execution, bad coaching all around. What is that? Just a bad team, you know, with injuries. Like, everybody on our offense is injured. The guys that came back got re-injured. They had to sit out again. Then our backups got injured. We're down to third string guys. It's like, what happens when the third string guys get injured? Do, do we forfeit the game? You know what I mean? We, Andrew Thomas came back. He played. Tony went down within the first like five minutes of the game. Andrew Thomas goes down after the quarter. It's just injuries left, right, and center, man. You know, entering the second half, Mike Glennon was warming up because they were considering subbing on DJ so he doesn't get re-injured. Like, I'm, I'm not about to relist everybody that we got injured on this team. But the offense is in shambles just off of that. Like, let's recognize that for a second. The offense has been struggling this entire game. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that we have second and now at this point third string guys out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's recognize that for a second. Shepard returned. Um, I don't even. He's all right. He's gotten just a couple targets. Daniel Jones. Definitely his worst game of the season so far. Um, all things considered, that I already listed. But you still, you know, still the worst game of his season. It was like two fumbles, both of them while he was trying to throw the ball. Like three picks so far. Two out of three picks are really, really bad on him. Um, man, just, just a, whatever went can go wrong went wrong during this game. And then play calling for me leaves a little bit to be desired. But once again, right, you consider all the injuries. It's like you're gonna be limited. There's not much you can do when you're running a third string offensive line out there with third string receivers and then CJ Board went down in the game as well. So it's like we had John Ross, Sterling Shepard, Pettis, and uh, Colin Johnson as our receiving core out there. And we didn't really use John Ross that much, but the protection is not going to hold up. Not against Aaron Donald and Leonard Floyd. The protection is not going to hold up long enough for something to develop downfield. Speaking of Aaron Donald, he's, he's been creating chaos as usual. The O-line's been pretty bad, you know. Andrew Thomas on one foot still looked pretty good, but once again, you know, he, he went out. Who knows how long he's out for? Who knows how long Kadarius Tony's out for? And as soon as Tony went out, I feel like every Giants fan knew that's going to be a major hit to the offense. And then you get to the defensive side of the ball. They played a good game for about a quarter. For about one quarter, they had a very solid football game. They held the Rams to zero points, and they, they held the run down right but then the Rams come and they dropped 28 in a quarter on us in the second quarter now granted a lot of that had to do with the offense because the offense was turning over the football inside our own red zone now, i've been somebody that says i want judge and, the, and, and everybody to be more aggressive and they took a chance but in our own territory you know at our 38 line our 38 yard line um then we had a fumble in our own red zone and a interception in our own red zone. Both of those turned into touchdowns. So the Rams had great starting field position off of our offensive mistakes. And our defense couldn't do much against that. And then other than that, in the third quarter, our defense went back to what they were for the entire year. That's letting the other team run away with time possession. They used up from the beginning of the third quarter all the way to like 6 minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter was one drive for the Rams. You know what I mean? So... Defense continuing to be a trash defense, basically, is what the name of the game was. Literally, every single thing went wrong, man. We, we that saying that's been coined for the Cowboys should be coined for us. What can go wrong will go wrong. Injuries, execution, mistakes, defensive mistakes too. 
There's about three that drop picks in this game. We got one pick in the game so far, Xavier McKinney. Because like I said, it's still going on. At the end of the half, Xavier McKinney. But there was three other picks that game that should have been, you know, should have been caught. You know, uh, McK McKinney had the first drop pick of the game. Then James Bradbury had one. I think there was another one. Like, I really do think there was another one. Probably by Dory Jackson or somebody. It was not necessarily dropped, but like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Carter Coughlin. Went straight through the hands of Carter Coughlin. Like, come on, man. I don't have too much to say. Other than, obviously, I'm still going to be coming out here rocking the blue. Blue and white, the red. For the Giants. We're still going to be calling the games. But we just wanted to be competitive at this point. We wanted to be not... A 38 to 3 blowout you know can it be competitive can I guys get healthy and I, and I said this in my video this past week I was like I would like for us to rest our guys another extra week so that they don't get further injured and so that they doesn't become something more serious the Giants selected not to do that and and Thomas got re-injured you know basically everybody got re-injured except for Daniel Jones so, I mean, because we're at the point of the season where I'm not giving up on the team, but I can see where the season is headed. We're not going to get anything too meaningful out of this other than a higher draft pick. And, and no, I'm not saying tank. Because a lot of people like to misconstrue my words and say tank. No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is protect your players better. Protect your starters, even your backups, everybody else. Let them rest. Let them get healthy. All right. There's not really too much of a point putting them in there. Protect the quarterback as well, man, because he's playing once again with a third and string line with no weapons. He's getting blown up every single play. Just make the smart decision, in my opinion. Of course, fire all of our team doctors and team trainers. This has been going on for too long. Our team trainers, I don't know if they've been the same for the past five years or whatnot, but they need to go. They've got to be the worst in the NFL. It's not even close. Replace the turf at MetLife Stadium. Why is it in the past five years so many players get injured at MetLife, man? Like, it's got to be the most injuries in the past five years. Is there a stat on that? Is MetLife Stadium, was it built on a graveyard or something? Replace that turf, man. Put in some grass or something. Put in some astro turf. I don't care. Replace it. This thing's too dangerous. But I don't really have much else to say. You guys put your thoughts down below. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.